Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to part two of this camping trip. I have been trying to nap because I'm so tired and it's so peaceful here. But Whiskey keeps trying to play with the cow and I'm too anxious to just let her, even though I know I'll be fine. So, I don't know. I think the plan for now is I'm gonna take down this tarp because I just checked the weather. It's not gonna rain. Well, we shouldn't trust the weather, but, and this way, if I take it down now, we get the sun a bit more and I won't have to do it tomorrow because tomorrow I have to leave by a certain time and I don't really want to rush taking down this tarp and it'll give me something to do now so I hope this is a good idea <laughs> all right okay I'll show you guys how easy it is to take down this tarp So here is what I would be most worried about. I wouldn't drag this, like to slide it off. I would like carefully take it off just cause I feel like over time it wouldn't be good with the tarp for the tarp, you know? So this is my problem. I could have practiced to put up the tarp differently, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> I just want to relax. It's so nice out. And like, I just want to pet the dogs and look at the cows, you know? Come on. Good girl. Hi, Emily. Hi, pup. Hi. Come here. Come. Hi. Come on.
So tonight we are making sundugu jjigae. Excuse my pronunciation. I am not Korean, um, but it's basically just Korean tofu stew. If you're gonna make this, my recipe is not super authentic, but it's as close as I can get it to it. Make sure you get soft tofu, like soft, soft tofu. So the idea is that. I'm gonna cook it on the burners back there with rice, of course, on the side. And I'm gonna keep it warm over the fire on a grill and then eat it like that. Um, Cause usually it's served in a clay pot so it stays warm. I figured I'd eat that, I eat this tonight because it's gonna be really cold. There's actually a frost warning. This is like my go-to Korean meal that I can make at home. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy and you know, it's not the Korean way, but I basically just put whatever I have on hand in it. What do you put in soup? Just anything. And then it'll taste good because that's how amazing soup is. I love soup. So I just sauteed the onions and garlic in a bit of oil. And then this is a mixture of Korean chili flakes. And I put um, green onions too with sesame oil and soy sauce. We're just gonna stir fry that a little bit as well. And kimchi, of course. Just gonna put like a little bit of it. I'm gonna put some mushrooms. Part of the mushrooms, not all of it. A bit of salt, carrots, pour some water. So usually you would put anchovy and kelp for the broth, but I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using this Japanese uh, soup packet just to give it that umami taste. And we'll just let that boil for a bit. Mm. Yeah, a bit more. Salt. Put the zucchini in. I'm gonna put some fish cakes too. And the tofu. <laughs> It's hot. It's hot. Ew. It's uh, a bit overflowing. <laughs> Whoops. It's starting to get really cold. Okay. It's a bit dangerous, I feel, but worth it. I love tofu so much and I love soup and I love rice and I love vegetables. So this dish has it all.
who's already in bed. Whiskey. You're already in bed, bud. Take this off. Guys, it's so cold. <laughs> I think it's like four degrees Celsius right now. It's the coldest that I've camped in. No, that's not true. I accidentally camped at like two degrees last summer. It was, I was really unprepared and did not ex expect to be camping in that weather. So never again. Tonight I'm really prepared. Even though it's really cold, all the stars are out. Like, so many stars. All the stars. Anyways, I think I'm gonna just try to look at the stars from my bed for a bit. And then fall asleep, maybe? I don't know. It's still pretty early, but I just didn't feel like sitting in my little camping chair anymore. So I'm in bed. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I hope... I will still be alive and not frozen to death. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Oh, morning. It was a cold one last night. I checked the weather when I got up to pee. It was two degrees. Oh boy. Whiskey. Hi, buddy. You're just hanging out on the tailgate? <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, this is the view, guys. Oh. Hey, bud. Come. Come on. Hi, welcome back to Camp Chef Ting. Um, today we're gonna make the same egg sandwich as last time, and I'm also gonna have a little side dish to go with it. I don't really know what these are called, but I got it at my local Korean store. They're frozen, and it's like seaweed wrapped with vermicelli and vegetables, and it's deep fried. So, you just gotta pan fry them in oil, or you can also deep fry them, or maybe they work in the air fry too, but I don't have one of those. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Alright. Let's try one of these first. Mmm. Lemon jelly? Oh, good. Oh, and spicy. Mm. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I guess it's time to pack up. The uh, owners here were nice enough to tell me that I didn't have to leave at the checkout time because there's nobody else coming today. So I got to take my time a little bit making breakfast, eating breakfast, walking around. Yeah, yeah let's get packing.
One of the cows. Well, we are on our way home now. Actually, that's a lie. We're gonna run some errands in Ottawa and then we're gonna be on our way home. I had a beautiful stay here. It was just wonderful. Whiskey didn't wanna leave. 
I didn't want to leave, but life goes on. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!